Hi everyone, welcome to the micro-learning series of courses to improve your knowledge and skills, thus could make you productive in your daily works. This course is specially brought to you by Malaysia Productivity Corporation. Please be with me for the rest of the course. Rest assured, it is going to be an exciting and unique course. Congratulations! You have learned about the basic concept of behavioural insights. Now, it is time for you to learn about planning and implementing a behavioural insights initiative. For your information, Malaysia Productivity Corporation has developed a behavioural insights implementation framework known as PRIME. PRIME is an abbreviation of P. Purpose, R. Review, I. Intervention, M. Measure, and E. Expand. You can use the PRIME implementation framework to plan and implement your behavioural insights initiatives or projects phase by phase. We will go over each stage in the coming lessons. I will provide you with an overview of the PRIME implementation framework in this lesson. In the first phase, P or purpose, you need to set the purpose of your policy or initiative. You also need to identify the target group and the desired behaviour. The expected behaviour is the behaviour that you want the target group to practice. In the second phase, R or review, you need to gather data about the current behaviour of your target group. You also need to collect information about the context. In the third phase, I or intervention, you will design the interventions based on the data and information gathered on existing behaviour and context. In the next and fourth phase, M or measure, you will carry out your interventions and measure the outcomes. Finally, in the fifth phase, E or expand, you will decide whether the interventions carried out are successful or otherwise. If it is successful or effective, you may want to scale up your interventions to a larger group of people from your target group. See you in the following lesson. Bye for now and stay safe and productive.